Oh, hey, you ever read the side of one of these things? This is, uh, this is heavy cream. What is heavy cream? Okay, well, it's fat content. I mean, that's, it has more fat than milk, obviously. It probably has more fat than light cream. It probably, let's break this down. Okay, you've had milk. How much fat is 1% milk? How much fat is in 2% milk? I'll wait. Good, 2%. How much fat is in whole milk? Now, I always thought that when you had 2% milk, that meant that 98% of the fat had been removed. I thought when you had 1% milk, 99% of the fat had been removed. But it turns out whole milk is only 3% fat. So the difference between 1% and whole milk is only 2%. Why is that important? Well, think about the flavor. When I drink 1% uh, milk, it's kind of watery. When I drink whole milk, it almost, it's like this rich cream kind of a thing, and it's only 2%. Heavy cream is about 30%. 30% fat which makes it delicious. Heavy whipping cream is 34%. Now, remember, the difference between 1% milk and 3% milk, flavor-wise, feel-wise, the richness is massive. So imagine the difference between 30% and 34%. It's huge. Well, I see this stuff here and I'm looking on the label and there's an ingredient on here called carrageenan. So every time I pick up heavy cream, I look for that. Because if I see carrageenan, it means it has less fat. Because what is carrageenan? Carrageenan is a thickener that we see used a lot in milk products, ice cream, stuff like that. It works really well with dairy. But it creates a richness or a thickness that's a substitute for the three or 4% fat that's missing. So essentially, they're selling you heavy cream that's been thickened slightly to behave like a more, or feel like a more expensive product but it won't behave like a more expensive product because the second you start applying heat to it, the carrageenan goes away and you're left with that thinner, heavy cream product if you're using it for sauces. If you're whipping, it'll break sooner because there's less fat in it, so it's less insulated. It's, it's less, uh, less stable from a molecular standpoint. So next time you go to the supermarket, pick up some light cream, pick up some heavy cream, and look at the actual fat content. It's right there, it's right there. And look for that word, carrageenan. All right, let's just keep this between the two of us. This is Chef JP. We got tons of cool facts at Chip Pixie, but I wanna hear from you too. If you have a really cool piece of information about ingredient or more stuff about cream, let me know, because I wanna learn with you.